Hey guys, it's Jeremy Shaved here, and today I'm going to be talking about God's love for you. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoy, and hit that subscribe button with the notifications on. So there are many, 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 many scriptures in the Bible um, that talk about God's love for us. Um, we're only going to get to a few in this video, um, but you know, one of the one of them is uh, John three sixteen. You know, for for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Now I know that's a really common scripture, one that. Um, like almost everybody knows, um, a lot, a lot of people know, um, you know, Christians know, that's really known scripture, um, but it, it's so true though, and it's really good, um, because, you know, God loved us so much that he, he gave his only son to die for us so that we could live forever with him. And that's pretty amazing. Another scripture is 1 John 4, 7 through 8. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. If you know God, if you truly know God, then you know how to love people. And you would love people. Um, because God is love, and if you know God, then you know love, so you can love other people, uh, you know? We need to love one another, um, because we need to spread God's love through the world. Anyway, another scripture is 1 John 4, 9 through 11. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, for not not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. This is basically just piggybacking up what I said in the previous scripture, um, is that God loved us so much that we should also love one another like God loved us. Think about this, when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you're getting filled with love because God, when God comes into your life, when you let him into your life, he, he is love. So love is coming into your life when you accept him into your heart. I think that's pretty cool. Another scripture um, showing God's love for us is Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So, while we were doing all kinds of bad stuff and everything of this world, God still loved us. A lot of people would think, oh, God doesn't love me. I've sinned too much. So God doesn't love me anymore. There's no way that I'm going to make it to heaven. Well, guess what? That's just that's just Satan messing with your mind. He always is going to try to mess with us. Satan is a deceiver. He is a liar. Everything he says is a lie, so don't listen to him. Because God is the truth. God is love. The devil is hate. He doesn't the devil doesn't know anything about love. God still loves you, even though you sinned. Like, a lot of people um, would think that Christians are perfect without sin and are automatically just going to go to heaven because they're perfect, no sin, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 that's not true at all. Because, you know, Jesus is the only man that walked this earth. 
that did not sin at all because he's God and God cannot sin. There is nobody on this earth that is perfect. I just want you to know this right now. To all of those that are hurting and think that God doesn't love them anymore and think that, oh, I've sinned so much, God doesn't want me. That's not true. That's not true at all. God loves you with all of his heart. He loves you more than you can even imagine. Look, nobody's perfect. We've all sinned. But guess what? Jesus loved us so much that he carried the weight of all of our sins when he died on that cross. He paid the ultimate price for us. Even when we're sinners, we are all sinners, but yet he still loved us and died for us on that cross. And when he died on that cross, he washed all of our sins away. If we just accept it. One thing, just accept that God is Lord, that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and your sins will be clean. So if you have not accepted Jesus into your life, just pray this with me. Lord, I'm a sinner. I was born a sinner. But you died on the cross for me and washed all my sins away. And Lord, I thank you for that. You paid the ultimate price. Lord, come into my life. I'm, I'm making you the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer today, leave a comment down below. And I'll heart every comment that does. Um, but yeah, just know, I'll leave, I'll leave you off with this. God loves you. He does not hate you. And God will never stop loving us, no matter what. That's it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn those notifications on. Jenna Shamed, out. Oh.